One pomeriggio beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. So I'm finishing getting ready because I'm about to go out uh, to do some nice shopping which I will tell you in a minute why but basically we just came back from the gym and today is a good day. Today is honestly I think the best day I've ever had in a long time and I think I've actually fell back in love with the gym. I was, it's not that I did fell out of love but today was just one of those days where no one is there you can do your own you know workout in peace you can be in the zone and you can just have your me time and yeah i don't know it was honestly one of the best sessions i've ever had and today was actually the first day where i did the structure that i talked about two vlogmas vlogs ago um where i would have a compound movement at the beginning for three sets uh, with heavy weight and low reps then i would have a finisher of like very high reps with very low weight in the same movement then i would have a super set and then we would have a finisher with very high reps for four sets so yeah I had that structure and I love it. Um, I did it before, so it's you know something that I'm familiar with, but because I haven't done it in a long time, I obviously, you know, it's good to go back to it and feel the motivation and uh, it was just the best day ever. So I think what I'm going to do before I tell you what we're going to do today, I'm going to go ahead and put a little montage of the workout so you can see what I did and you can replicate it or you can, you know, change uh, the exercise but keep the structure, whatever you want. And I will see you straight after. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go. Chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the wind blows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you and me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this How was it? I loved it, honestly I very, very, very much suggest that you do the same And yeah, I love it So please let me know if you do do it And if you liked it uh, Whatever you think about it, just please let me know And obviously is what I'm going to do from now on And I'm going to integrate walks in the morning I'm going to go like gradually So maybe at the beginning only twice or three times a week and then we will start doing it every day like I used to do the first lockdown. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. And then about today, today is a special day for someone. Where... <laughs> Can you see him? He always has to go underneath something. I know. Are you going to say hi? Is it your birthday? Are you going to be nine months today? Sorry about the high pitched voice, but I literally don't talk any other way to him. But yeah, so it's his birthday month, I guess. He's nine months today, so still technically a kitten. And I was thinking to merge the fact that it's his birthday month, whatever you want to call it, and go to Pets at Home because I was meant to go anywhere to get his stuff and his food and actually get some Christmassy bits for him. Now, before you say anything, he is... I am trying to get him used to have colors because whenever we buy a house, hopefully he, it will have a garden and he will have access outside. So obviously we want him to have a little color without any bell, but just enough to have a tag. So I am training him slowly to have that a few minutes every day. So I don't want you to think that I am mistreating him for buying him stuff to wear. He's literally gonna have it for a few seconds. So please bear with me. Don't 
attack me or anything. I'm not mistreating him. He will get so many treats that he will literally forget what happened in five seconds. But yeah, I just wanted to get something for him to wear that I saw on Pets at Home. They had a little cape for Christmas and I had a little collar with a bow and then a little collar with some like red and furry thing and things like that. And I wanted to get some toys for him and as well some mice for Christmas Day to fill up his stocking. So yeah. I'm going to do my best to be quick when we do the haul and when he tries things on so that he doesn't get annoyed and he doesn't plot my murder during the night. So yeah, I am very aware of that, but he usually really likes it and especially because he can show off and he can have some treats. He honestly doesn't mind it at all. So yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna change, we're gonna go to Vesa home gonna bring it with me and hopefully I will be able to vlog a tiny bit over there without bothering anyone because I don't want to be you know the center of attention either because I'm not very used to vlogging outside in public yet um, but yeah so we're gonna do that and then we'll come back home and we'll do the little haul so I can show you what he did and then yeah I'll see you in Petra home in a second all right here we are okay so apparently I came too late because they were all over here and over here and now it's completely empty so I think it's weird because it's the 17th of December so I don't understand why they got rid of everything but anyhow I'm still gonna get him his favorite mice he destroys them and eats a pack a day so that's good then he loves these little sticks that he can choose around that he broke a few so I'm gonna get a new one that is not yeah. one of the sticks as well he loves anything that has feathers and he goes feral on it which I don't mind he's fine he's never aggressive on us so he's okay so this one has catnip and a little bit of a feather what else he has loads of kickers he has loads of like long things like that so I don't think he needs any more he has those to play with I don't know what that is such a shame that they literally haven't got any Christmas stuff he loves the laser so maybe we can get him that mm. but maybe we can buy on Amazon for a little bit less because that's a bit exaggerated with what it is he has that and destroyed it oh such a shame I was looking forward to get him a few things for Christmas but well what else can we get him he has that and he loves that he has that's his bed literally and we have plenty of cat towels even though I try to hide them every time I do a video because they look ugly this is literally all they have but it's all for dogs so I can't use any of that and then they have a little bit over here but they used to have so much more stuff. I can't believe it already got rid of everything. And this is too big. It's, I mean, that one would annoy me, let alone my cat. So that's a no. This is humongous. I mean, we can try it. I think it's a bit too big for him. It's a medium. So that's a no. I can't believe this is... Okay, so that was almost completely disappointing because I was really hoping to find more Christmassy related bits. But actually, I think the situation got saved at the tail where I did find a few more bits. So, let's see. Is that for you? Is that the whole bag for you? I swear he prefers the bag than what's inside, but... Yeah, as I said, I did get this, which he loves. And then, oh, oh, I'll put it here so you can see him. Then, besides the mice, which I'm just gonna put here and I will put them in the little stocking filler, I actually found this little dried chicken bite, which he can have because it's not for any kitten below six months. So I think as soon as we don't give him too much, he's gonna be okay with it. So we'll do that in a minute. Then I also found this catnip little treats, which he we just introduced him to catnip, so I still don't know exactly how he likes to react. 
So we will do that after. Then I got him this. This is for you. What's this? Is that for the birthday boy? Boy, are you sitting? <laughs> there we go. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Are you happy with the boy? Hell yeah. It's okay. What's this? Good boy, you want to sit? Oh, you want to lay down straight away? Okay, okay. Good boy, go lay down. Okay, you want to sit? No. That's lay down. You're a good boy, but that's not what I'm asking you to do. Okay, go sit. Now sit. Good boy. Okay, now lie down. Good boy. Go sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay, last time. Lay down. Good boy. Was that good? Was that a good birthday? Yeah? <laughs> you want more? There's no more. Are you happy? You want more? <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> I'm actually very curious to see what he does with this. Little bobble with catnip. He's still playing with that. I think this is the best day ever. What is it? Oh, you want it? Okay, okay you can have it. Have it. I can. Do you want me to put it down? Oh my god, he's gonna be so hyper after. And hi. Are you hi? What are you? <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, sorry for the cat spoiling, but it is his day and I want to make sure that he gets all the love because to be fair, since I've been working full time and my partner already worked full time, I think he has really felt it, especially because we did get him in the first lockdown. So the first experience that he had with us was us being at home all day long and be able to play with him all day long and give him attention all day long. And lately for the past few months, obviously with us back at the office and whatnot, he has really really felt the distance and he's not that affectionate but when we come back home from work at night he is so so affectionate he keeps giving headbutts on our legs and he keeps wanting cuddles and honestly yeah he's very very much like a little puppy almost when we come back but it's only when we come back from work and then after two minutes he was already over it so yeah this was a little bit of a spoil day for him and as well to be completely honest, I don't know what else to do. It has arrived at a point now where, yeah, it's really, really hard to find content while working for, yeah, eight hours a day and as well not having a car and still having to social distance and as well the area around us are now on tier three in, in the UK, which means that people shouldn't really go out. So even me going to the shops or whatnot, I feel really bad and I feel like I should minimize it as much as possible. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have any idea of more activities to do at home or that are not really high risk in terms of other people, let me know because I am really, really running out of ideas and as well, I don't want to force it either. Like today, this is what I had time for, this is what I wanted to do and this is what I had programmed and so I don't want to force it because then it makes me a little bit l enjoy it less if it makes sense it makes it a little bit more sort of imposed if it makes sense so yeah so that was it sorry for the rant but I wanted to just be honest because I am I literally ran out of ideas and I have no clue what to do next but on the other hand I was talking with my partner's mom or my fiance's mom and she was saying that in terms of Christmas and getting ready for Christmas because I'm as I said I have never prepped Christmas dinner I have never cooked before so I was asking her at what point do I have to start buying things because I don't want it to be run out and then you know it's a disaster like you know a Christmas dinner yeah maybe I can't find any turkey left or things like that so she was saying to get non-perishables now and just store it in the cardboards and then get the veg and the meat and everything that needs to be fresh 
closer to the date so like the day before or two days before something like that obviously because as well we don't have the biggest fridge so i was going through my head of what we might want to buy and i think this weekend we might go get a few things with you to the grocery stores so i was thinking like the typical cranberry sauce applesauce mustard gravy butter chutney those things that we can buy it now so that then we don't have to do a huge christmas grocery shop after as well drinks and and sort of like i think even stuff like crackers uh brandy sauce if you wanted panettone like i said i think those we can buy now um what else yeah i don't know i'm just thinking of things that we can buy now and so we can do that this weekend together and as well we can talk through the actual menu and all the recipes that I found and what I'm programmed to do so maybe that will also give you an idea of what you can cook or maybe it reminds you of something that you didn't think about and so it's really good to to hear it so we will do that probably this weekend as I said, as I said. and yeah besides that I don't know I still want to as well bring you with me at the gym because I really enjoy it and I want to keep sharing the fitness side of this channel and what I really enjoy doing which is obviously workouts, uh, programming workouts, doing a little bit around nutrition and um, tips like that related to that so I obviously do want to continue doing that and yeah I don't know please comment below any suggestions that you might have because I really 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 appreciate it right now and yeah I hope that this video that is all about my cat wasn't too bad I actually really did enjoy it and I do enjoy seeing my kitten having a good time and eating all the treats and playing with new toys that make him excited because he, as I said he is getting bored lately so I'm trying my best to keep him entertained and curious and stimulated so yeah I hope that you don't mind me focusing one video, one video only, all about him and then we will go back doing other things and more festive stuff and cooking and whatnot. And yeah, even if it wasn't your favorite, please don't forget to give it a like to this video because it does support me. And as well, don't forget to subscribe because as I promised, we will do more fun stuff and we will have more time this weekend to do even more things together. And yeah, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Ciao!